Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. L'audience est reprise. Le président de la République est reprise. Nous voulons maintenant passer à la parole à Chia La parole est à la défense de Nguyen Chia pour la poursuite de l'interrogatoire du témoin. Merci, M. le Président. Maître Pestman. Merci, M. le Président. Doik. Doik. Qui est Prakon qui est Prakon? Prakon. Réponse. Prakon was an interrogator. Était un interrogateur. Question. In 2007. En 2007. He told the investigators. Vous avez dit aux enquêteurs du bureau des co-juges d'instruction. That you personally interrogated one of the foreigners, the Westerners. We were talking about yesterday, and he said that you kicked him during the interrogation at S21. Do you remember that incident? During his interrogation at S21, do you remember that incident? Do you remember that incident? Monsieur le Président. The President, International Court Prosecutor, you may now proceed. Court Procureur International. If the translation is coming through correctly, I think counsel are putting the details of one person's statement to the witness. Particular details. Des détails particuliers ont été mentionnés. Our understanding of the ruling that Your Honours have provided is that. Selon nous, la décision de la Chambre veut dire que certains aspects précis d'une déclaration ne peuvent être présentés aux témoins, mais seulement le thème général. Ce témoin ne peut être amené à évaluer la crédibilité d'autres témoins. Et donc, la question devrait être, avez-vous torturé ce prisonnier Mais les juges ont rendu une décision. Ils ont dit que les aspects précis de la déclaration ne peuvent être montrés aux témoins. Il faut se confiner au thème général de la déclaration. Maître Pestman, c'est une déclaration que connaît le témoin. Il l'a fait dans son propre dossier. Je suis prêt à reformuler ma question. Mais selon moi, nous devons avoir le droit de présenter à ce témoin des déclarations faites par un autre témoin et qui viennent contredire ce qu'a dit le présent témoin. The president. Le président. Counsel is not allowed to. La défense. Cite the statement by another witness and put it before this witness to comment. Counsel may pose 
la question by citing the general the summary of the statement of other witness de façon générale aux déclarations faites par un autre témoin avant de poser des questions à ce sujet au présent témoin. Maître Pesman. Doik. Quand, à S21, à S21 did you interrogate one of the foreigners quand avez-vous interrogé un des étrangers dont nous avons parlé hier Response. Réponse. I did not uh, conduct the interrogation myself. Ce I was moi during the interrogation, person, uh, interrogation session only to check the quality of the interpreter I handpicked. Les compétences de l'interprète que j'avais désigné. Made, uh, this clear to Cela, the je l'ai déjà bien dit en réponse à la question really posée par la partie foreigner, civile. But I was je n'ai pas interrogé moi-même cet étranger. J'étais présent pour so. vérifier l'interprétation. Question. Avez-vous frappé l'un des prisonniers étrangers à S21 L'avez-vous frappé du pied Réponse. Réponse. Monsieur le Président, je n'ai interrogé que Koi Thun. And I didn't have time to kick at the J'avais d'autres choses à faire et je n'avais pas le temps de frapper quelque autre prisonnier que ce soit. Do you remember Question. interrogating and torturing a woman at S21? Le souvenir d'avoir using among other techniques electric shocks en utilisant notamment comme méthode l'électrocution. Response, uh, this never happened at S21. Ceci ne I just wish S21. to reiterate again, Je I never interrogated anyone. Personne. Your Honor, sir, at Question. this point, I would like to refresh stade, the memory of the witness by la du témoin, quoting part of a statement un extrait d'une déclaration Prak qui a Kon été faite par Prakon dans this le cadre du procès de ce présent témoin. Il ne s'agit pas so d'un témoin mentionné to question this, sur uh, other witness, Kon, la on liste. Issue. And I would like to Nous voulons and to ask this to react rafraîchir la mémoire du présent témoin statement. en lui demandant de réagir à la déclaration faite par l'autre personne. The president, uh, le président, the chamber has already ruled la Chambre on this. a déjà tranché. And we still stand by our la Chambre maintient sa décision. But, um, Maître Pestman, uh, mais je croyais comprendre que la décision consistait à dire que nous pouvions interroger ce témoin sur l'incident. Au cas I won't où be able to ask le témoin serait cité à comparaître. Or, il ne va pas venir. Je veux pouvoir poser des questions sur l'incident. Je veux pouvoir présenter au présent témoin ces informations. C'est une déclaration qui a été versée au dossier. Le présent témoin connaît l'autre témoin. Et sa déclaration, si on ne peut pas présenter au présent témoin des informations données par d'autres témoins, ça devient surréaliste. Nous devons pouvoir mettre à l'épreuve la crédibilité du présent témoin. Si on ne peut pas citer des déclarations d'autres témoins, dans les faits, nous nous voyons privés de cette possibilité. Le Président, Wishes not to rule on the same matter that we has already ruled upon. Cette question. Cette question International Court Prosecutor, you may toutes. proceed. Thank you, Honourable. Uh, Thank you, Honourable. Uh, 
the prosecution obviously believe it's important Selon that uh, the defense can put their case um, to the witness. However, the details, um, the specific details from another witness's statement, um, the witness shouldn't be put in a position where he has to uh, comment on the uh, reliability of another witness. Um, that places undue pressure on this witness. But what can happen, what counsel can do, is put um, the substance of that statement to the witness, and then it's a matter, matter for your honour to decide de um, on the, uh, the credibility of those sur la crédibilité de ces réponses et d'évaluer la valeur de l'autre déclaration. Le présent-témoin ne doit pas mettre mis dans une situation dans laquelle il serait amené à apprécier la valeur de la déclaration d'autrui par rapport à ce que lui a dit. Cela dit, cette question peut lui être présentée de façon générale, sinon ce sera une bataille de personnalité. Or, ce n'est pas le rôle de ce témoin. Thank you, Mr. President. I partly agree with the, uh, the prosecution. In this instance, the gentleman who was asked about the individual who provided the statement to the OCIJ. He indicated that he knew, he knew that he worked at S21, thereby laying a foundation that, the, that, the, that he knew the individual and the individual would have been in a position to at least observe certain things. If I understand the prosecution correctly, uh, reversed in, in part their position from earlier, uh, the witness can be confronted on peut pas with what the other witness has, has indicated, de la déclaration témoin. with what he observed. And then it's up to this particular witness Et ensuite, à ce uh, to decide, to, to, to answer the question in the affirmative or in the negative. À la de façon uh, so in other negative. words, Nothing should prevent any of the parties to say, what if I were to say that this particular individual, when being questioned by the OCIJ, provided the following. He's locked to the witness indica has indicated, Doik has indicated, one, he's never tortured. Now you have a statement from somebody else who said, yes, indeed, he at least did some things. Doik has indicated Doik that he knows the individual and that the individual worked at S21. There's nothing to prevent Rien the party then to put to the witness whether what de au the statement, what's in the statement is accurate si or inaccurate. He can deny it, le he can qualify it, préciser, or what have you. In fact, this was the technique et telle that the judges, la the investigative judges, used utilisé par les juges d'instruction. This is classic, classic confrontation. And there's nothing, nothing wrong de as long as the foundation Et is laid. Cela est parfaitement normal Thank tant you. que cela est justifié. If I may. Maître Pestman, puis-je prendre la parole Le Président, president, la Chambre a déjà tranché. has already ruled, and the rule the ruling stands. La décision rendue and demeure inchangée. The, the chamber has indicated very clearly that uh, counsel is La only allowed to claire. rephrase the general questions concerning the statement of the witness. La chambre uh, peut poser une question de façon générale feels, concernant uh, les déclarations de l'autre témoin. And, uh, we believe that Le cas the échéant, has made it la significantly défense clear. pourra reformuler. La Chambre a été très claire, nous semble-t-il. Well, maybe Maître to Pestman. give me some further guidance, does this rule apply to every witness? Que cette règle does it matter whether à tous les témoins? this particular witness, Doik, is familiar with the statement? Le fait que ce does Doik it matter whether he's familiar with the witness? La déclaration est le témoin question, est-ce un aspect pertinent Est-il important de savoir si l'autre témoin sera cité à comparaître dans le prétoire J'aimerais obtenir des instructions. Ces instructions données jusqu'ici ne m'orientent pas suffisamment.
president, le président. Mr. Kang Kekyu, you put the question concerning the time when you On vous a posé une question sur l'époque où vous étiez président S21 and whether you tortured si vous aviez prisoner torturé un prisonnier they referred to, uh, council referred to the statement of la défense a cité une déclaration faite par un témoin dont il ressort que vous auriez torturé un prisonnier. Est-ce exact Réponse. Monsieur le Président, dans ma disposition, j'ai déjà dit à la Chambre qu'à S21, je n'avais interrogé qu'un prisonnier, à savoir Khoi Thuan. Uh, during my work uh, with Nat, Nat uh, was étant, about to hit or to beat uh, Chetiu. Un moment, j'ai vu que Nat and était sur le point de frapper so, Chetiu. I acted uh, on behalf of him by slapping Et the person. And I, apart from that, uh, I never interrogated other person or à part ça, je n'ai jamais interrogé ou torturé. Mon travail m'absorbait trop pour que je fasse cela. Je ne comprends pas la déclaration qui a été faite par un autre témoin. Personnellement, je n'ai jamais fait cela. Le président. Le président. Le conseil pour Nguyen-Chia. Would you wish to proceed with que other questions? L'avocat de Nuanchia souhaite passer aux questions suivantes. I regret that Maître I'm not able Bestman, to pursue this line of questioning. I think it's important. It would have been important also to establish the truth, more specifically the credibility of this witness. La vérité et la crédibilité de ce témoin de pouvoir. So I'll move on to Je vais passer another topic. À un uh, autre Doik. Thème. Doik. You stated several times that Khoi Thun was the only prisoner you ever interrogated. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Response. Yes, it is. On 9 June 1999, you testified before the investigating judge of the military court in Cambodia. I would like to show you, with permission of the president, the court page from that statement. Un extrait de cette déclaration. The president, uh, could you advise the court whether the document is already placed in case file 002 and uh, advise the chamber on the identification of the document with ER number, for example? Sorry, Your Honour, sir. I will. D288 stroke 6.52 stroke 4.25. ERN English is 00377326. Khmer 00320787. And that last page is the page I would like to show you. In English, 00377326. Document D288, bar 6.52, bar 4.25. I will show you the last page of the testimony. Montreuil Rotbal, de la Caen. The president, the court officer, is now instructed to locate the document so that it can be put up on the screen. Afficher le document à l'écran.
Mr. Witness, have you finished Maître Pestman, reading your statement? Avez-vous terminé de lire votre déclaration? Response. Réponse. Yes, I have. Oui. Do you remember giving this Question. statement? Vous souvenez-vous avoir fait cette déclaration? Réponse. Réponse. Yes, I do. Oui. Could you read Question. out the last sentence of this haute, statement, the statement in the box, de cette déclaration. Est la partie which starts with S for personally interrogating? Response. I may read this as follows. As for personally interrogating, enjoined in interrogating le fait following orders from Son Sen, that is interrogated Koi Tun and Sing Chan. Et et Sing Chan. Do you remember interrogating Sheet Chai? Vous souvenez-vous avoir interrogé Sheet Chai? Response. Response. I had never thought of a Thiet Chai for some time, so I may have forgotten this for Cela a while. Cela fait longtemps que je n'ai plus pensé à Thiet Chai. But is your statement question. correct? Did you indeed que interrogate him? Vous avez effectivement interrogé cette personne, comme vous l'indiquez dans votre déclaration. Réponse. Response. I went there only very briefly. I went to Je suis allé sur place très brièvement. Je suis allé with uh, the letter sent by Son Sen. J'étais muni d'une lettre us. qui nous avait adressée Son par Son Sen. Wanted Thiet Chai to confess. Son Sen contacted me through phone a conversation, a and téléphone. he asked me whether it was a good idea to write him a letter. And I si responded to Son Sen that uh, it would be a good idea indeed. À Son Sen que ce une bonne idée. So I wrote. Uh, uh, Son Sen wrote a letter Son Sen a donc to rédigé une lettre. Uh, me. Uh, so that I uh, could uh, send it to Siet Chai in Liestum. And uh, if uh, Siet Chai in Liestum honestly confessed, si then the upper echelon would think of pardon for Siet Chai. I got the letter from Son Sen and I brought it Chai. to Siet Chai. I did not talk any other thing other than presenting remise the letter to him. That's all. Intéressé de la part de Son Sen. Je n'ai rien fait d'autre que cela. You stated Question. before this court that Koi Tun was vous avez the only prisoner at S21 who was not tortured. La seule personne à S21 qui Is that pas correct? Été Exact. Le témoin. Response. Yes, it is correct. Oui, c'est exact. On the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth of May, 1999, 4, 5, you gave a long interview to uh, Christophe Péchou. Do you uh, remember? Est-ce que vous vous souvenez de cela? I rejected already the documents of 
Christophe Péchou. J'ai déjà rejeté les documents de Christophe Péchou. Et je crois que le document ne figure pas au dossier. J'aimerais demander à la Chambre de poser une question. Je suis désolé, je dois vous interrompre ici. You did not reject the statement. In fact, you stated yesterday that you told Peshu the truth. You rejected interviews you gave to Nick Dunlop and Nat Thayer. I would like to show this particular witness part of the transcript of the interview he gave to Peshu. Which was taped and later typed out. Cela, l'entretien a été enregistré et un transcript a été rédigé à la suite de l'entretien. Okay, Mme Nangsa. The President of the International Co-Prosecutor, you may proceed. Je donne la parole au co-procureur international qui la demande. Could provide the the document number and the and the ER number of the page that you referred to. Le numéro du document ainsi que la cote ERN de la page de questions. Le document est IS 20.19. The ERN number in English is 0018502. ERN in Khmer is 0016094. L'interprète n'a pas entendu la cote en Khmer. And just to be Completely clear. It is mentioned in the footnote of the closing order, numbered 3672, and has thus been put before this chamber. The document is mentioned, and this document has been given to the debate. The president, Mr. Pestmanst. Can you provide Maître the Pessman, footnote number again because it was not translated? Three six seven two. 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 Three
when you say in the closing order, uh, Mr. Pissman, do you mean case 002? It's not clear to the chamber whether this document has been imported into case 002 or not. Let me just check. I'm not sure what imported means, but uh, it is the footnote, a footnote in Il case in case two. Note de bas de page de l'ordonnance de clôture du dossier numéro deux. The president, we, 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 we will wait until the footnote Nous is found. Que retrouve la note de page. Again, the footnote, footnote number is six, la note rather de three, six, seven, two. <laughs> Some change, look. The president, just counsel, you may proceed with your question. Maître, vous pouvez poursuivre et poser votre question. Doik, could you please Maître read out Passman. the text in the red box, in the two red boxes? Doik, je vous demande de lire le texte qui figure dans les deux encadrés en rouge. Akun. Le témoin. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci. My interview with Monsieur Nick Dunlop, I reject that from the very beginning because the original document has never been submitted to the court. Only the copy of the document was submitted to me. This is, for, this is the first thing. For the other thing, the type of the interview as I listened to it, it was very confusing. Could you please read out the text in the red boxes? Je vous demande de lire ce qui figure dans l'encadré rouge. Response I am appealing to the court against the authenticity of the documents that you are presenting to me. So before I can answer to your question, I want to express my concern over the authenticity of the documents. In case 001, this document was never included in the case file. Mr. President, Doig is a witness and is not an accused. Can you please instruct him to answer the question and not argue? Monsieur le Président, est-ce que vous pouvez dire au témoin qu'il est ici en train de témoigner, qu'il n'est pas accusé ici, et je lui demande donc de lire l'encadré.
Avant de poursuivre, je like voudrais donner la parole à la juge Cartwright in order to to afin de lui permettre de Council répondre à Mme Cartwright s'agissant du document proceed. qu'il souhaite produire de uh, la juge Évoqué the court dans le made no rulings on its authenticity uh, and therefore on its probative value. You may put questions to the witness based on this document, uh, but simply because it is in the footnotes does not automatically confer authenticity on it, and therefore the witness is allowed to say a le droit uh, to challenge it in, in any way that he thinks appropriate. Is that uh, sufficient for your nécessaire. purposes? Est-ce que cela répond that was exactly the purpose of my, uh, my question. Oui, en effet, Thank you. And I agree. Que posé cette question, et je suis Can I continue? Est-ce que je peux poursuivre? Doig, please read out the underlined je vous de lire lines in this document. Ce qui est souligné dans ce document. Mr. President, Monsieur le Président, from what Judge Carey has said, this document has not yet been accepted of its authenticity. Doig, please answer the question. Maître Pesman, témoin, Therefore, répondez à la question. I would like to exercise my right not to read it. Donc, uh, Mr. Doig, you have no such right not to read a document. Can you please read the underlined lines? Mr. Thank you. I am here to listen to the judges, not you. I'm afraid I'm the one ask, answer, uh, asking the questions. Could you please read out those lines? qui pose les questions. Je vous demande de lire ces lignes. Doig, you should answer council's questions, but you are entitled to give your views on the authenticity of the document. So perhaps you can make those comments first and then counsel can put his questions. Is that clear to you? Thank you. Your Honor. From what I have heard Merci, Madame from you juge, si j'ai bien compris just now ce que vous venez that de dire, I am entitled to express my concerns over the authenticity of the document. document. My concern against the authenticity of the document is that the document provided to me was not in the original form. Secondly, the date of the document was different from the actual date of my interview with Mr. Peshu. The interview that I had with him was from was on the 30th of March, but the date of the document read instead it was on the 4th of rather from the 4th to the 6th of March. And there were some inconsistencies, plus, some issues that I was not aware of. Dont je pas and as I listened to the tape, quand écouté as I listened to the tapes, quand écouté cette, uh, ces, cet I can see that the tapes are not accurate. Que ces and I'm sure that the tapes now still exist in the office of the co-prosecutors. The one, the copies that I was provided was not the correct one. 
n'était pas la bonne. So this reflects the inauthenticity of the document. Et voilà pourquoi ce document n'est pas authentique. Back then, the document was put in the court Le for examination, and my counsel, François Roux, challenged the document. A few days ago, document. I'm not sure whether it was Mr. President or some other person si who referred to Christophe Pechou's document as Christophe having Péchou. no comme transparency or authenticity because there was no there was no lawyers challenging the authenticity of the document. Qui en question du document. This is my concern voilà regarding the authenticity of the document and following the order from Judge Cartwright, I will now read the documents and explain that later on. De ce qu'a ordonné la juge Cartwright, je vais lire le passage en question. The president. the president, we still face with the issues of authenticity and the reliability of the documents, even though we have settled the issue several times. Nous sommes toujours confrontés à la question de l'authenticité et de la fiabilité Même si nous avons tranché sur cette question à plusieurs reprises. For the reasons of the large volume of the documents in the case file, and before we. Au vu du volume de documents dans le dossier. Move on. Et avant with our de proceedings, poursuivre, the chamber will need to first decide devra d'abord décider the and reliability of the de l'authenticité et de la fiabilité that is before giving the floors to du document defense counsel for avant de to pouvoir donner la parole à this witness. au conseil de Nutia pour qu'il puisse poursuivre et poser ses questions. To obtain information, the chamber would like to ask the parties, but that they do wish to provide any views si on this issue. Elles ont quelque chose à dire sur cette question. I, I certainly have a view on this issue. Maître Pesman, if I may. Um, first of all, it's not up to si the witness to challenge the author authenticity of the document, up to the parties in the procedure. Document, I notice that. Um, I note that uh, the prosecutor has used this particular document in the introductory submission. I assume they will not challenge the authenticity of this document. As I said. The investigating judges have used that document. I assume they think it's authentic, or they thought it was authentic. And we don't wish to challenge the authenticity of this document. So it's not an issue. I would like the witness to read out the lines we have underlined, and then the witness can say whether he has actually said so or not. And then we can go on with my examination.
Thank, <coughs> thank you, Mr. President. Uh, as you're aware, the prosecution has put this, for, this document Monsieur forward President, Madame, uh, to place before the Chamber. Um, and uh, all we can say is that in case file one, uh, your honours declared it inadmissible, and, uh, I think largely on the basis that um, uh, the accused, well, the witness who was then accused, uh, was not given his rights prior to, prior to this interview. And there was uh, issues surrounding the, the circumstances of the interview, which your honours said you couldn't rule on um, at that stage um, as, uh, in relation to the trial that would require the calling of witnesses. And because uh, we were concerned about the expeditious, expeditiousness of the proceedings, um, we decided not to admit the document, bearing in mind the, the uh, wealth of uh, other interviews before the court. So, Your Honours, the, the prosecution have put this uh, document forward. Um, clearly, the, uh, we are in a a slightly different position in that the, uh, the statement was given by an accused back then, um, he is a witness now, and uh, um, we, we have no objections to the, to the witness commenting on uh, uh, any matter in that document, but it's, uh, it's really a, a matter for your honours in terms of admissibility. Um, there are issues surrounding it, um, and uh, whether you would like to explore them further in this case, it's really a matter for you. Si vous souhaitez que nous abordions ces questions plus en détail, c'est à la Chambre de trancher. Some judgment we no more. The president suggests the lead call lawyers. You may proceed. Je donne la partie. Je donne la parole à la partie civile. Oui, Monsieur le Président. À part le fait que je trouve assez intéressant que la défense de Nunchia se voit opposer des arguments sur la, les originaux et les copies de documents, je dirais que puisque M. Douk était prêt à lire ce document, on pourrait peut-être simplifier. Il vient de dire qu'il était prêt à lire ce document. Et je n'avons pas d'objection à ce qu'il le lise. Council Canavas, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. It's one thing if the document is, has been manu manufactured, has been tampered with, and now the question is, is it authentic, uh, which we then call into the reliability of the document. It's another, as far as I understand, <coughs> it may be that there's <coughs> the witnesses contesting the substance of what's in the document. So the question is whether he agrees or disagrees with that, and he certainly can comment on it. But to certainly say that the document is not authentic is to suggest that it's been either tampered or manufactured. It's a confabulation. Sorry for using that word, but it's something that's been made up. I don't think that that is the issue. I think the gentleman here contests the, uh, the content of what's in it, and he's perfectly capable, as any other witness, in commenting on that. And then it's for the, your, your honors to decide what to accept or not accept. Le président, Mr. Michael Canavas, would you like to have any idea on the authenticity and reliability of the document? Est-ce que vous avez une opinion par rapport à Mr. Pathman? I'm honoured to, Mr. President. Um, no, I. Uh, just want to state that uh, the document has already non, been admitted and put before the chamber, so it's not a question of admissibility, it's just a question, question of authenticity. And that question, exactly that question, can only be answered after we hear this particular witness who can tell us whether the transcript is répondu, accurate or not. Si so we need to hear this witness in order to be able to answer that question. Les informations contenues sont exactes ou non. Il faut donc que le témoin lise le document. Your Honour, I'll be brief. The document hasn't been admitted. Um, annexes uh, uh, 12, 12 and 13 um, are still to be decided on by the Trade Chamber, so it actually hasn't been admitted yet. Uh, we're awaiting your decision on that matter. But I think uh, one thing that can be agreed on, whilst the witness is here, um, it's reasonable that uh, he comment on that particular, that particular part of the, of the statement. And then the issue of uh, admissibility uh, can be uh, addressed later.
on pourra traiter cette question par la suite. Bah, le président, Thank you very much. je vous remercie. So the, cha the, the, the chamber interest in this issue concerns the fact that the document was pre presented during case 001 and the chamber decided to not to include that document et la in a case file 002. Le document dans le dossier and now we have differing views Nous avons regarding the document when the document is used to put questions to witnesses. Parties have objected to the questions Les on the basis of this document because it is now appropriate for us to adjourn for lunch break le moment est venu d'observer la pause déjeuner and because of the complexity of the et issue et au vu de la complexité de cette chambers, question the chamber will now adjourn la chambre va maintenant for lunch lever break la séance and pour la pause déjeuner the proceedings will resume la procédure reprendra at 1:30 à 13h30 and the chamber will decide on the matter la Chambre at the beginning of the afternoon tranchera session sur in cette question au début de la séance de cet après-midi afin de permettre to to à la to procédure de poursuivre. Je demande aux officiers de la sécurité euh, d'amener le témoin dans la salle d'attente et de le ramener à 13h30. Yes. Uh, Mr. Oui, Passman. Maître Passman. Maître Passman. For the reasons uh, which by now should be Pour des raisons well known, uh, que nous connaissons like tous, mon client souhaite rester break. au sous-sol après la pause. Le président, vous pouvez vous asseoir, Monsieur le Conseil. Having heard the request of Mr. Nuntier that has been made through his council, which seeks to leave from the chambers to follow the proceedings from the holding cell downstairs, that is to waive his right to be present in the courtroom, the chamber decides to grant the request of Mr. Nuntier that has been made through his council fait par Nunchia par le biais de son conseil, remotely à from the holding cell downstairs de suivre la procédure dans la salle d'attention provisoire au sous-sol par le biais du session. système audiovisuel pour la séance de cet après-midi. L'accusé a renoncé à son droit d'être présent dans la salle d'audience. La chambre de première instance uh, uh, ordonne au conseil de la défense de présenter le document de renonciation signé par l'accusé. Nous donnons des instructions à l'audiovisuelle de retransmettre la Security séance cet après-midi dans are now instructed to bring the two accused persons to the holding cells and to the holding cells ramener les accusés au sous-sol et de ramener Monsieur Cusampan à 13h30. L'audience est maintenant suspendue.